What is going on YouTube is Sankey and we are back with another one. So today I want to bring to your attention a play I picked up in the market today. But before I get this show on the road, if you'd like to help out the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new and you're looking to make money using the stock market, do join the movement by hitting that subscribe. So I'm excited to share with you the play that I picked up today. But before we dive into that, let's see what cars we were dealt by the markets today. All right guys, so it's been a red day today, but I'm here with you every step of the way, whether that's a green day or a red day. What you guys need to do, as I say, don't focus on the day-to-day -day movements in your portfolio. If you zoom out, you guys will know that vaccine rollout is successful, economic reopening is happening as we speak, and nations are deploying that stimulus. That is gonna give the fuel to the fire the stock market needs to make its climb and get out of this rough waters that we're in. As I say to you guys, we're not quite yet out of deep waters. Now, as we make our climb out of this market volatility, you are gonna get those red days, those flat days as well. So don't be phased by them. I just say use them as opportunities to continue dollar cost average down on your plays or pick up those cheap plays that might not be in your portfolio yet. So use this as an opportunity to get a second chance at that play that you couldn't get the first time round. Also, we are going through market consolidation right now. So wherever your portfolio is at right now, I bet you it wasn't as bad as it was on the 8th of March, which was the low of the low during this market volatility. So as I say to you guys, take a zoomed out look. This is just what happens during market volatility. Now for my investors who've been in these markets less than a year, I know right now feelings of fear and panic are starting to set in. But what you guys must know is every single year in these markets without fail, we go through these periods of market volatility. Now, what separates the successful from the unsuccessful is patience. Those willing to have patience hit success in these markets time and time again. The unsuccessful start panic selling, turning their backs to the markets when all they had to do was just simply stay the course. So on to the play that I picked up in the markets today, that's Sally May, aka SLM Corporation, ticket symbol SLM, currently standing at $19. There's a couple of things I wanna run through with you guys about this play. This is a student loan provider that controls over 50% of the market. So right from the jump, you guys know you're investing into a leading company and we like these leading plays. Think about it like this, we've got a Tesla in the EV space, we've got an Apple in the technology space, and if we're going down the crypto route, we've got our Mara. Now we like these leading plays because they've got the brand, they've got the scale, and they've got that management with a track record and the history behind them. Second up guys, I wanna tell you, they are firing on all cylinders when it comes to their financials. Last reported revenues clocked in at around 850 million. This is over a 50% increase on last year's numbers. As I say, I like those players that are in hyper growth mode when it comes to their financials. This is a play with real revenues, they're beating estimates. It just shows you that management have the formula to take this one to success. And if they've done it historically, if they apply the right tools and the methods, they're gonna hit success in the future. Now, despite this high growth, their valuation is in check. You guys know I've taught you all the valuation, I've taught you about the price to sales, taught you guys about the price to earnings. So if we talk price to earnings, SLM, they're below nine times. This is a good entry point at below nine times for a company that's growing at that scale and they have that leadership position in the private student loans market. I always do a sense check over the valuation anytime I'm gonna jump into a play and I advise you guys to do so. You guys know it's easy to do so. Just check a couple of numbers, simple division, and you've got the valuation for the play. So as I say, valuation is in check with this one. Now let me set expectations going forward and how we're gonna play this one. Guys, currently standing at $19. I'm expecting this one to hit $25 at the end of the year. You guys know I always take that longer term view with these plays. It's not about what they're gonna do tomorrow or next month. It's that longer term thinking that's gonna help you guys build the serious wealth in these markets. So as I say, I'm looking to hit $25 at the end of the year, and that is an over a 30% increase on the current stock price, and that is not to be overlooked. I know a lot of you guys right now, you would take 30% within a heartbeat. So this is a play I wanna put on your radar. As always guys, we're gonna set our stop limits on this one at $18. So if you jump into this one, I'm gonna need you guys to just protect that downside. Doesn't cost anything by just setting that stop limit at $18. As I say, this is a play, a little bit different from the plays that we rock with on the channel, but good future growth potential, interesting niche, 
leadership position. So I had to grab myself some of this in the market and I suggest you guys do too. Let's talk about how we can level up as investors. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about share buybacks. And there's one thing I haven't spoke to you about SLM and that is early in the year, they announced a $1 billion share buyback. So I'm gonna run through with you guys what that means for this play and how we can apply that to other plays to hit success in these markets moving forward. So often share buyback will mean that the management views that stock price as undervalued. And due to supply and demand forces, when they buy back that stock, we should see that stock price increase also means the play is making the cash excess cash that they have available to buy back that stock so it's often a good thing all around and leads to an increase in that stock price now we can use that to advantage moving forward because we know that there's other plays in the market that are primed for share buyback and these are the financial institutions we know the fed okay share buybacks earlier in the year so i'm gonna throw up on screen wells fargo this is a play i put on your radar previously this is a play that could be in the runnings to announce a share buyback they've been performing very well over the last couple of months i expect them to continue to do well moving forward now it's big earnings week for the financial plays plays like bank of america jp morgan wells fargo all announcing their financial results so I don't want you guys sleeping on these plays moving forward. There's good opportunity to make good returns in these plays because as we move into economic reopening, it is going to benefit these financial institutions because there's going to be more loans out there in the markets and more financial products that they're going to be selling to various different parties. So to make sure you guys have at least one financial institution play built into your portfolios. If you rock with the channel, you know what time is. This question comes from Philip says, how do you ignore all the negative noise in the market and media regarding stock overvaluations, buffer indicators, hyperinflation, housing market crash, etc. When reading it all and seeing videos and analysis on it, much sounds legit and realistic, but it makes you want to cash out all of your money and hide it under the bed. However, you seem to be very calm and optimistic about the markets overall and are continuing to expand your portfolio. So once again, Phillips dropped a banger of a question for us, so let's dive into it. Every year in the markets, without fail, there's always a ton of negative news. Now, what you guys must know is some people actually make their living, make their money from this negative press on the market. That's not to say it's to be overlooked. I want you guys consuming as much content, as much news as possible to help you guys understand all different areas of macroeconomics that will help you guys level up as investors. But without fail there's always negative news however over time the stock market trends up and this negative press what it does is it makes a lot of people sit on the sidelines and not get that money active into the markets so when tesla was trading at hundred dollars some people were sitting on the sidelines because of fear and panic because of market negativity yet now tesla's climbed from that hundred up to today's value of 700 take an apple for example as well when that was trading below 50 dollars a lot of people on the sidelines now apples at the 130 dollars and the same is going to happen moving forward you're getting a, lot, a ton of people who are listening to this negative press on the markets not investing into a tesla where they're at now not investing into an apple where they're at right now and when these stocks climb up when they add 50 percent to their value they're going to miss out on major returns you guys also must know when it comes to investing we take a long term view this is to smooth out any short term you know negativity in the market so when i give you guys a play it's not a 24 hour play it's not a one week play you guys that is a play for the end of the year or even further to let that play materialize let those returns materialize let management work do what they need to do to bring that play to success also want to say to you guys despite what's going on in the market you could talk about housing bubble you could talk about inflation talk about whatever you want to talk about i know i'm invested into quality and i'm invested into the company so i'm invested into companies that are high growth the product is there the customers are there the management team is there the industry growth is there as well so when you're investing into quality when you know you're investing into quality all that market noise doesn't matter in the short term yes it's going to have an impact on these plays that's why i say these aren't 24-hour plays they're not one week plays they're not even three month plays because in that matter of time that short period of time things are going to happen into the into in the stock market that is what we call volatility and volatility no play can escape volatility in the short term so 
That's why I say when you invest into quality, you ride out that short-term price fluctuation in the stock market, that play will continue its climb. If you're able to be patient, ignore the noise in the market, you are gonna hit success. So I hope that answered your question. All right guys, so that wraps things up. If you'd like to help out the channel, do hit the like button. And if you're new, join the movement by hitting that subscribe. Also check out link down below to the Patreon. We can join our team of investors over the Discord and connect with like-minded individuals. Now as we progress the rest of the week, you guys know I am packing the heat to ensure that you guys are able to navigate these markets with me. So I'll catch you on the next one.